Hi there, my name is Patrick from Hoo-Ha Sports and this is a brand new show and we are featuring the fans of the EPL Supporters Club right here in Malaysia and this time we are featuring the Manchester United Club in a brand new program called Club Chatter. It must be the way they say hello. Selamat datang ke Malaysia. Um, with uh, Azim, Dizem, Ashraf and also Yoda here today. So we're going to talk about everything to do with Man United. And we also look above the fans and talk about other clubs as well. But uh, we'll be breaking down into a couple of segments. Of course, we'll start with headlines. And the biggest headlines, guys, of course, is United cruising on in the Champions League. Very, very good win against uh, Chelsea. Now, let's get all your comments in terms of how you feel about that win over Chelsea. Let's start with you, uh, Azim. Saya rasa puas hati lah sebab MU menang kan hari tu. Tapi dengan kemantapan pasukan MU dapat kita lihat lah. Kalau mana-mana tim pun yang datang, biasanya MU boleh tapau lah. Alright, Dizem, what is your thought about the way Man United played in both those legs? Uh, the way Man United play, I think uh, it's very very good game. Uh, at the first uh, first leg, we play in Stamford Bridge. Uh, we crack down uh, the defense, and it look uh, Ryan Giggs and Rooney are playing very well, and we take the chances well. Defense are playing very good, so we take the one year. And sometimes Ashraf, there is the unsung hero by the name of Park Ji Sung. What do you think of his performance on the second leg? Park Ji Sung is always delivers in during the big game, no matter against Arsenal, Chelsea, and Spurs. So. While he's returning for the injury, his performance are absolutely marvelous. We can see how uh, after Dobba equalized during the match, after just after just after Dobba equalized, he managed to score the leading goal and could and ultimately uh, could uh, bring Manchester United straight to the semi-finals of Champions League. All right, looks like they're going to win, but they've got Schalke ahead first. So Yoda, what do you think about playing Schalke in the semi-final? Uh, I think Shaka will be there. And the dog for the first one, from the first starting the Champions League, we are also quite shocked that Shaka can defeat Inter Milan, the last, the last, the last season win, uh, winner of the Champions League. So I think with the uh, with the with the form of the players, dengan keadaan with the Ferdinand sudah okay from the injury, Vidic as the defend and Vanessa still the keeper. And everything, I think we can win with Oshaka. Okay, but then there's also this uh, Raul factor, a very veteran player who knows European football very well. Dizem, his factor in that game? Yes, huge factor. He's, he brings flair to Schalke right now. We can see the way he plays. He's uh, 33, 34 years old. And he's the top scorer for Champions League now. 170, 140 uh, appearance, uh, 71 goals. So he brings the flair to Schalke. And I'm quite surprised Schalke go through to the semi. Okay, but then, uh, of course, when you ask the Man United fans who's going to win that semi-final, of course, it's going to be Man United. But then the question, the question that we need to ask is, who do you prefer in the final? Real Madrid or Barcelona? Azim? I prefer uh, Barcelona. Uh, because, uh, you yeah, tengok musim ni, uh, Barcelona punya team memang mantap dengan adanya Messi, uh, Iniesta, David Villa, Xavi. Uh, teng- uh, dia, punya sera- dia punya pasukan tu lagi mantap uh, daripada Real Madrid. Yoda, Real Madrid or Barcelona? Uh, I think Barcelona will go for uh, final lah. Again. But who do you prefer to play? Who do you prefer? Uh, I th- it's the Messi, uh, Pedro, Villa and everything. So I think Barca, uh, the kind of player with the, the midfielder and the defend, even though Puyol uh, injury for now, so I think Barca with all the kind of player in the full form, I think they can go. Ashraf, don't you want to play against Jose Mourinho and your old friend Cristiano Ronaldo? Well, that is also one of the things Cristiano Ronaldo always say that he wants to play against Man- Manchester United. And especially when the match is played in the promised land, the Wem- Wembley. If, in my opinion, I would prefer Manchester United against Real Madrid in Wembley Stadium. Okay. But then Cristiano Ronaldo, if he does play the final, do you think you know he will score and celebrate against Man United? I don't think so. He will <laughs> celebrate because this is the place, this is the club who brought him into the map, to the world map of football. Can't argue with that. So he can argue. I, I, I promise you, he won't celebrate the same as when he uh, Manchester United playing Porto, the Champions League. I think past two years when he scored, he don't celebrate. You just can imagine this is his second house. 
<laughs> so I think he won't celebrate. This is the fan who... They are writing the new rules for Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid. But of course, this is Club Chatter here on Who Has Sports together with the Man United fans. Now, that's done and dusted. It's about a couple of weeks away before they play that semi-final. But let's look at the backroom segment right now where we talk about certain gossip that's happening. And the hottest news right now is about the summer clearance at Manchester United. Apparently... Uh, Alex Ferguson wants to get rid of at least eight players. Uh, but let's talk about somebody who's already on the way out. Uh, Kuzcek, apparently he's confirmed leaving the club at the end of the season. Ashraf? Actually, Kuzcek is trying quite hard uh, to actually to dethrone Van der Sar. But unfortunately, Van der Sar, with his old age, 40 years old, he's still playing at the top of his game. So Kuzcek feels that he needs to go to other clubs to, play, to get a more first team games. So I think if it's best for him, uh, so we wish him good luck. Okay, Dizem, what do you think about Berbatov? Apparently, there are rumours that he's moving to Bayern Munich. Estimated £20 million pounds is the asking price? I don't think so. I don't think Berbatov will go out from Manchester United because uh, Berbatov is the kind of player who likes to win games, to win uh, trophies, win tournament, big game. You can see when he played for Manchester United, uh, slowly by time and time, you can see he's improved his game. Uh, good scoring. Now he's a uh, top scorer for Manchester United. So he's doing well in Manchester United. I don't think he will go to Bayern Munich. There's also talk about a hundred million pounds being available. So let's let's look at the board and go towards uh, each segment of the field. And where do you think you need to buy and who do you need to buy? Let's look at the goalkeeping part, Ashraf. Who do you need to come in? There's news today that uh, David Di Gia from uh, Atletico Madrid has been purchased for approximately 17 and a half million pounds. But they're still looking at possibly getting Neymar and also getting a uh, Pepe Rena. David Dijia, if David Dijia can perform in English Premier League, which is the can be considered as the most the most toughest league in the world, Manchester United, Manchester United won't, won't have any problems for 50 years to come. Since his age is 20 years old, so if he can perform uh, in EPL, Manchester United will surely maintain the championship. All right, over at uh, defence, Azim Sepper, who do you think you need to get? I think uh, Alex. Everything okay lah. Dengan adanya Vidix, uh, Chris Molling, uh, Rafael, semua kan. Biasanya untuk si, uh, season depan, um, Alec Ferguson tak akan tukar lah dia punya defence. What about midfield? Oh, midfield for sure we need to buy because scores and gigs with the veteran age around that 30. Pencin, yeah, that are pencin. <laughs> so, plus we lack of the free kick taker. If gigs, Rooney or Nani didn't play, so I think uh, the best one is Douglas Costa. And also that rumours that he also been uh, sudah duduk at seat director box at the Old Trafford. So Douglas Costa and maybe Javier Pasto. Mm. And uh, Ashley Young. Yeah. Don't forget Young about also. Ashley Young. Yeah, Ashley, Ashley Young also. He's also rumoured to come into Manchester United as well. Strikers, do you need anybody? You have Rooney, Hernandez, Berbatov. Apparently you say he's not leaving. Uh, strikers department, I think uh, we don't need to buy anyone. Just back up, maybe we have Bebe and we have Aubatan in front. So for now, Hernandez is showing improvement uh, with 18 goals in the back. So I think the strikers department, uh, Ferguson will never change anything. They will stick for this, this what what we have now. But we also have, have Welbeck and Masheda, Masheda coming back from loan. So we have sufficient strikers to be honest. Okay, then now before we go for a quick break right here on Club Chatter, there's this other news that we found that apparently Harry Redknapp has said that Jose Mourinho will one day coach Manchester United. What is your opinion about him coming in to uh, replacing Alex Ferguson one day? Uh, that's why I want Real Madrid to play Manchester United in the final. <laughs> Ashraf, what do you think? The nightmare when Jose Mourinho running down, running down the touchline when they beat Man when Porto beat Manchester United is still placed in my mind. And after that, just after Chelsea won two Premier League consecutively, he's the best to replace Alex Ferguson. Okay. That's done and that's it. We're going, to take, we're going to take a short break right now. When we come back, we're going to be talking about the other clubs over the fence and also we'll look ahead to this weekend's big FA Cup semi-final match right here on Club Chatter on Hoo-Ha Sports. What a goal! Here go. He's missed!
Welcome back to the second half, Chewa. Second half of club chatter right here on Hua Sports. I'm Patrick together the Manchester United fans. We've got uh, Azim, Dizem, Ashraf, and also Yoda. Now, in this segment, we will be looking over the fans and be talking about home away stuff. So we'll be talking about other clubs. So let's start with Chelsea. Ash, what do you have to say about them crashing out of the Champions League? They're lying third in the table. Do you have any chance of coming back, or is it something like Alex Ferguson said? You know, they're just mad about the Champions League trophy. First, they are mad about Champions League because since they didn't win Champions League, but another factor is the way they sacked Ray Wilkins, which is unforgivable. They sacked Ray Wilkins during the halftime of reserve league, which is led the downfall of the club since the players are very close to Ray Wilkins anyway. Yeah, because there's a lot of chatter on the Facebook page, the Chelsea Facebook page, about the lacking of the assistant manager over there, like Ray Wilkins and Steve Clark from before. But Yoda, let's talk a little bit about uh, Arsenal. Do they still pose a threat to the title? I mean, calculation, mathematically, they still can fight, but... Okay, this one I take from my dad, lah, because he is a hard, they die hard for Arsenal fan from since uh, last time day. Yeah, my father, eh? okay. So, this one, if they win to win the title, uh, Wenger need to change everything, change the academy. They don't need to play like the junior junior team. Uh, maybe they need to buy some senior. And the defender is really I don't know the defender is Kosielny and others. The so I think uh, they, uh, this uh, this first and he, this first match he will lose. The Arsenal lose. So then they cannot post the title. So let's talk about Liverpool and Spurs then. What do you think about the season so far? They, Liverpool have not being a threat to Man United no more. This year, Liverpool is a flop team. I said they must stop, uh, forget about uh, European football right now. Just concentrate on the league. Buy some new players who want to play for Liverpool and manage from zero back. Because they are too concentrating and want to go to the Champions League. You can forget about your European league. Just concentrate on the league. Uh, and you can progress from there. Then quickly about Spurs. Spurs, uh, I think this year they got something. They go for Champions League. Uh, just lack of players. They got to splash some cash and buy... Uh, a bit more experience because it's quite a young side. Yes, yeah, quite a young side. You have Luka Modric. Uh, I'm so impressed with Luka Modric. I think Manchester should buy Luka Modric. <laughs> Forget about it because that sounds a very good time for us to move into our next segment. We want to talk about Manchester City. So that brings us to our final segment which is game time because it's that big match of the FA Cup semi-final with Manchester City. Now, uh, Ashraf, let me get your opinion about uh, City's season so far and going into this match looking at their form. They did lose to Liverpool the other day. Yeah, They did lose to Liverpool the other day which is yeah, quite unlucky to be honest. Well, Liverpool is going up and also there are a lot of rumours about the dressing, dressing room, dressing room uh, shoutouts like uh, fight, uh, uh, the fight between Mancini and even uh, the latest one is Milner is unhappy after being substituted during match against Liverpool. So that seems that no, you, you require a top-class manager to handle a star-studded star -studded players. Okay. Then Azim, of course, there's no Carlos Tevez, but there's also David Silva, the brutal Balotelli, and also Edin Dzeko. Do you think they're going to pose a threat for uh, Man United? I think uh, Balotelli, David Silva, Dzeko ni akan memberi masalah lah kepada MU pada game hari Sabtu ni lah. Mana tengok uh, David Silva begitu kreatif lah uh, di midfield dan Dzeko begitu tajam uh, pada penyudahnya. So of course it's a it's a match where there has to be a winner and the winner will meet either Bolton or Stoke. No point talking about that for now. But okay, let's get a quick round of prediction. What do you think the score is going to be? Is it going to be extra time? Is it going to be penalty kicks? Because it's a must-win game for either team. I think Manchester United will win two 0 or two one in ninety minutes. Yeah. Ashraf, I think two 0 or two one as well. Since uh, no, no Rooney, but Hernandez is at top of this game. So we can still rely on Hernandez anyway. Well, you didn't want Berbatov to leave. Uh, Rooney is not playing. He could hook up with uh, Hernandez very well. Your score? Um, City will play uh, defensive. Like Mancini is a negative person. <laughs> Italian. Italian always play defensive. They will park a blue bus. I think it will go for a slim win for Manchester United around 2-1. 2-1, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think 1-0. Uh, uh, Hernandez score. Hernandez score. Okay, there you have it. The fans have spoken about this weekend's match, but we wish all of them the best of luck. Of course, they'll be cheering and we'll be there as well with our fans' live coverage. So join us once again here at Hoo Ha Sports when we have more club chatter with another Premier League supporters club.